1963, Mary Beth met Joe Tinning on a blind date, and in 1965 of spring, they got married. May 31st, 1967, throughout 1971, Mary Beth and Joe had their first three children. Jennifer, the third born, died only eight days old from meningitis and multiple brain nexuses from birth. One year later, Joseph also died after being rushed to the hospital for cardio arrest. And that same year, Mary Beth rushed her firstborn to the hospital. In 1972, the Tinning family became foster parents to a child named Robert. And in 1973, they took in a child named Linda, but they soon sent her back when Mary Beth became pregnant with her fourth child, Timothy. Timothy was rushed right back to the emergency room after birth due to sudden infant death. In 1981, Michael, Mary Beth's adopted son, is taken to the hospital after he won't wake up. He's later pronounced dead. Tammy Lynn, Mary Beth's ninth child, is born. December of 1985, Tammy Lynn is found dead, caused being smothered to death. The police open an investigation in which they start to question all the deaths of Mary Beth and Joe Tinning's children. Mary Beth and Joe Tinnings were taken separately to, into the police department and questioned for the death of Tammy Lynn, in which, in 1986, Mary Beth confessed to the murders of Tammy Lynn, Timothy, and Nathan. Mary Beth was arrested and charged with murder of her daughter, Tammy Lynn. Eleven weeks after trial, Mary Beth is sentenced to 20 years to life in prison at Bedford Hills Prison for Women. Between the years of 1988 to 2013, Mary Beth is denied for parole. In 2017, Mary Beth is accepted for parole and is released.